Every fantasy writer, one of the basic questions you have to settle when you start out writing your books is how are you going to handle magic, sorcery, the, the fantasy elements? You see a lot of people writing in secondary world universes that are very high magic. It's something anybody can learn and anybody can do. I can make it, you can make it, you have the recipe, it all comes out right. To my mind, uh, that took the magic out of magic. In magic, it's not just the recipe or the words of the spell, it's who you are, who's doing it, and what are you feeling when you're doing it? The Valerians, while practicing their blood magic and their fire magic, noticed that it didn't matter whether you pronounced the words of the spell right, whether you made the correct sacrifice to the correct guard, all of that may have had some importance. But one of the big things was who you are and what was your relation, particularly to the dragons. What are the dragons like? They're flying beasts. They have to have very large wings and a relatively slender serpentine body. A long tail, a long neck, two legs, two wings in front. They're made to fly and to strike at their prey from the, from the air. But then there's the fire issue. So many people associate dragons with breathing fire. Leaving that out, we just feel wrong. They are creatures of fire. They breathe fire. Fire doesn't harm them as easily as it would us. And there's something very magical about the fire. 